Hello and welcome to Brutal Gaming. My name is Luke and you're watching me play a game called Avadon The Black Fortress. Now this is an indie game that was released in on Steam, sorry, um, quite a while back. Now I'm going to start a new game. Now this is going to be like a blind let's play because I know nothing about this game. Um, let's just, uh, let's just go with this one. Casual. Just for the hell of it. And give you an insight of the game. I'm not bothering reading all this, to be honest. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, it's a point and click game. Welcome to Avadon. These messages will pop up to help you learn to play the game. Click somewhere to move your character. Yeah, I've already done that. You start to cross Avadon's entry garden. Considering how terrified most of Linus, Linus or Linus, Linus, what, whatever, is of this fortress, it seems rather pleasant. Ponds, nicely tended lawn. To the east is another pair of gates leading farther into the fortress. A pair of guards wearing plate armour and wielding massive swords stand to either side. There is also an elderly man in long flowing robes. He has a pair of what looks like wolves in front of him. He is shouting commands at them. They don't seem concerned. Keep crossing the courtyards to the east. Okay. So how do I move the screen? Can I move the screen please? How do I use the screen? Oops. So, uh, ah. The arrow key is... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Get closer to the old man and to the two wolves. Though, from this distance, you can see that something is not right about these animals like their lack of hair and their purple flesh and the veins throbbing all along their backs and legs. The man in robes is holding up a scrap of meat and giving suggestions like stand, sit, roll over. The wolf creatures don't respond. Then you get close, which gets an instant reaction out of them. They turn and look at you. Then they bare their teeth and begin to snarl. I guess I go for number three. No, as you can see, I can't. I thought I might, but the old man sighs. The twisted wolf things turn away from the pitiful scraps of meat the old man offered them. You seem much softer and fresher. However, the old man and the guards don't seem to react to this. They just watch silently and with interest. Hmm. The guard smiles, perhaps thinking back to trials of their own, but the old man shakes his head. A test? No. You are a hand. You are supposed to aid in my work. This is your job. I will explain more when you are done. The creatures lurch clumsily toward you. One to your right, one to your left. Then they start to run, teeth bared. Hmm, interesting. You have little equipment, 
but you were not foolish enough to travel through the wilderness without a weapon. You prepared to rid the garden of the old man's pet. When the walls attack, you will enter combat mode. You will then learn how to defend yourself. Okay. So now in combat. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm getting used to this game so far. Press space board and your turn early. Attack a wolf, click on it. Defeat these enemies. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. The hideous wolf creatures lie at your feet dead. The guards realizing that they have a mess to clean up look annoyed. The old man just looks sad. Another month of work gone. I suppose I must work on the the other trinkets for a while. I, oh, I am sorry. I am Craftmaster Nicodemus, one of the mages of Avadon. I think I will be helping you in the future. Hmm. <clears throat> oh yes, you're one of the Redbeard's new hands, yes. When you are given tasks, I will be giving you the benefit of my magic. Some of it even works better than the, these constructions. He waves at the wolves. Nicodemus nods. That is the spirit, but you do not report to me. I was only trying to train the creatures here to get away from the chaos inside. I suppose you should see Heart Miranda. I think she is waiting for you, and she will explain what you need to know. Where is Heart Miranda? Craftmaster Nicodemus makes the signal. The gates begin to slowly open. Miranda is inside directing things. There has been a serious disturbance, and she will be happy for you to help. Now, please excuse me. Then he turns to his wolves, going down on one knee to examine them. Okay, so we just go through east and find her. That's pretty good. Okay. So, um, east. Oh, I guess it's that way. That this way. Okay. Can I go this way? I guess not. Oh, I need to end combat. Ah, I see. Interesting. Heart Miranda. You step into the entry courtyard of Avedon. Fresh supplies are stacked everywhere, waiting to be distributed to the warriors and craftspeople. When Avedon wants something, it gets it. However, the atmosphere of the fort is not what you expected. It is chaos. Guards and workers are running everywhere. You hear shouting in the distance. The smell of smoke, and you think blood, hangs in the air. After a lifetime of hearing how deadly and invulnerable Avedon is, this chaos is somehow even more worrying. A woman stands in the middle of the courtyard, an island in the chaos, that and directs the workers. This must be the Merma yeah, I'm sorry. This must be the Merma Miranda. You are supposed to present your letter of introduction to. Click her to talk to her. You walk up to the woman in the middle of the room, like Craftsmaster Nicodemus. She is wearing long, flowing robes. The traditional garb of the mage. She is in her early fifties. She has served here for a long time. She stops shouting orders and turns to you. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not very good with voices, am I? Well, pity you didn't show up just a few hours ago. We could have used you. Do you have a letter of introduction? 
Fortunately, you were giving her one before you came here. She holds out her hand for it. The letter. She takes the letter, reads it, and nods. Then I formally welcome you, Bruce Alexis, and I declare you a hand of Avedon, with all privileges and responsibilities attached. Congratulations. She words up the letter and tosses it onto the floor. A servant instantly collects it and carries it off. Normally, there would be a period of settling in, testing, and so on, but we have had some problems. All of our hands are out of the field, and there is something I need you to do now. Can I tell you? Ah, I'm sorry. I am so bad at this. <laughs> I'm not going to bother going through that. She nods. Yes, enthusiasm. That is what I like to hear. We are trying to get things in the main fortress under control, but we have had to send most of our hands away. That means we need you to enter the dungeons and restore order, round up some stray prisoners. You do not need to go alone. There are two hands who can help you. There are Sevelyn and Natalie, I believe. She points to the sound. She points to herself. On the way down to the dungeons, you can choose one of them to help you. Once you have met the other hands, go downstairs and speak to I, Mamora. He will tell you what fires to put out. The stairs down to the dungeons are now marked on the altar map. Ah, that's pretty cool. Okay. That is up to Ali Mamora. Do you what he says. You may use any equipment you may find, and if you survive, it will reflect very well upon you. Okay. Da, 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 okay. The conversation ends. Right. Okay, awesome. New quest. How do we get to quests? Can we? Default hunt and missile. Dagger. Savage blow delivers a vicious blow with your blade doing more damage than normal. That's pretty cool. So we've got a few abilities so far. I, I can't drag. Ah, that's because we used the keys. A, B, and G. Okay. So A is Savage Bloom. B is Challenge. And G is Second Wind. Okay. Let's do this. So where do we go? Go south to... Find the other people. I see. So let's go this way. <clears throat> you enter Avedon's main storeroom where most of the food, wood, and so on brought to the Black Fortress are kept. There has recently been a fight here. The stone floor is scorched and splatters of blood dot the walls. The wounded and dead have been hauled away. Only one person is visible from here, a young sorcerer standing by the scorched area. If you look down at it, she is smiling. Interesting. Okay. Now, yeah, here we are. When you get close to the young sorcerer, she looks up at you. She is breathing hard, still charged with adrenaline from her recent battle. I did. I did it. I killed them. By myself. Not that I will get any notice for it, of course. She takes a moment to calm down. 
Oh, I am sorry. I am Nathalie, a hand of Avador. I have spent long enough waiting for action that I need to take a moment of luxury in it. Click on this one. She looks startled. What, you? No offence, but you have been here, what? Ten minutes? When some of us have been waiting. Once again she calms down. But you will probably need help. Isn't that the case? Talking to one of the other hands with you to share in the glory, yes? It doesn't take her long to do the math. One hand out of two. Me and Sevelyn, the warrior, well, speak to Sevelyn and compare. She looks at the scorched marks. I am eager and competent. He is, well, you can see for yourself. When you go downstairs, if you wish, I will come and join you, but you will select me, yes? She nods. You seem the gleam of enthusiasm in her eyes. All right, you will not regret the decision. Okay. Um. Okay, so we'll go this way. What's going on? Why can't I? Ah. Okay. We go this way. So that. Okay, never mind. Ah, so the dungeons are this way. Okay. You are at the entrance to the Avedon Dungeons, final resting place of many foolish enough to fight the pact. You notice that a heavy cloak has been left on the table nearby. It might be wise to put it on before descending into the low, into the low tunnels. Cloak, where's the cloak? Interesting. Where is it? I don't get it. What's going on? Where is it? Turn near the cloak on the table and press this button. Looks like she needs to get it. Ah, ah, okay. Okay. Where's the cloak? Is that there? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, so let's go into the dungeons. This world controls the gate to the dungeons. You start to turn it, but then you realise that you should speak with Severin and Natalie first. They can, after all, help you in the dungeons. I did... Oh, so I do have to actually... Talk to him, do I? Oh dear. Okay, let's go. Interesting. Do so just go to here? Choose your group. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hold on tab to see a format of the area. Okay, I guess we go this way. Press these buttons to use items. 
This music is slightly irritating. Well, the ambient, shall I say. Okay, um... Well, so far so good, I guess. It's pretty good. You walk into the dungeon. Normally the torches would lit, be lit and heavily armed guards would be standing at attention. The jailers would be waiting to collect and process new inmates, and there would be giant rats everywhere. But the disaster upstairs has left everything abandoned. You can hear shouting and snarling in the distance, but the entry chamber is cold and dark. But not still. As you step onto the walkway, little pairs of lights appear in the shadows to the south. Then they start to move toward you. With the guards gone, the pests in the tunnels far below Avedon have started to emerge. Okay. Oh, we got. I am actually liking this game. Okay, where to go? Um, let's go this way first. Oh, we need to end combat, don't we? Of course. Ah, can't go in there yet. Bearing in mind that the sound is on quiet, suddenly a reassuring light appears to the north. Someone has just lit a torch. He shouts, Is that support at last? Come here, quickly. This is a good time to save the game if you haven't already. Okay. You emerge into a large office. A fence rings in the area with desks, in an area with desks and shelves heavy with records. New inmates are brought here and sat down while scribes record their arrival, crime, and recommended processing. There are some chains and cages, usually used for wild beasts and bon monsters, in need of examination. When monsters, sorry, when humans are brought here, they are usually just left on the ben benches. Few are foolish enough to think they can escape from this place. There is a man in a leather jerkin standing by the far desk. He waves at you. A hand, at last. Hurry. Interesting. So we... Oh, for God's sake. Come on, now. All I wanted to do was save. The last eye on duty in the dungeons walks up to you. He is an aging man with a thick leather jerkin and a broad sword held awkwardly in his hand. He nods to you. I am I, Mamora, of Hulklander, master of Avedon Dungeons. I am pleased to see you, though I ha I confess I thought that I might have been aided earlier, and, I might add, with more force, but we will do that, sorry, but we will do what we must. I'm trying to speak as fast as possible, but it's not easy. Okay. Ah, da, 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 da. I can't be bothered. Must these prisoners be slain? A wretch named Gross. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wretch named. Draws, uh, Marian, savage named Hansi, tricky young maid from one empire named most dangerously Shadow Targus, of 
course, that Tetris creature did not hesitate to try to slip away. As the keepers emerged, they told me where they last saw the lost prisoners. Markings on the map, not quite yet. Oh, is it these markings here? Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Secure the dungeons. Okay. So let's save the game. Just quickly. Press enter. Game saved. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty good, actually. I am liking this game. I have to do f a few things soon. But, um, I'll play for a little longer. Doesn't look like we can go down there. Okay, um, door's locked. Looks like the only way to go is this way. Dungeon kitchen. Wow, really? Okay. What's this then? You find trash. I'll just take that anyway. Nothing in here. She'd like this. It's pretty good. Go on. Come on. Tack it, please. Okay, that's weird. Oh, I do like this game, it's pretty decent, to be honest. I am enjoying it so far. The graphics are really nice. There is probably going to be quite a lot of content. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty good. I do like it. Oh, let's go in here. Okay. Iron short sword. Oh, it's quite nice. And there's two of them. Currently using dagger. Well, I'm definitely going to be taking that, and I will be using it as well. Thank you. It's very nice. 
A pillow. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's continue on. Not sure if there's if that's lag or not. Door's locked. Okay. Let's do anything in here. Can't interact with any of that. Another locked door. <laughs> Interesting. Scrying hall. This is a wide natural cave. It must have been discovered years after Avedon was constructed. It was taken converted into one of the feared workshops of the Black Fortress. There are about a dozen stone tables scattered around the room. Each has restraints, a glowing enchanted stone, a chair, and materials for taking notes. It is here that the prisoners of Avedon are brought, so that the eyes can use powerful magic to pull the thoughts out of their minds. Once here, a prisoner has no secrets. Everything they planned, everyone they conspired with, all of that precious information goes straight to Redbeard. Okay. So let's go discovering. Ah, uh, here we are. Pretty difficult then. I don't think we can get across there. No, doesn't seem like it. Not across there either. Okay, let's go back. Back through here. <coughs> Huge rat. Hmm. What a loss of them. Nothing here. Okay. That looks like a locked gate there. Let's go this way. Oh, why do I? Where is this? Where is it? Where is the... I don't see it. What? Not sure what's going on. Ah. Oops. Wasn't meant to keep that on. Okay. This way? Terrified prisoner. <clears throat> I'm not going to read much of it, to be honest. Hmm. 
Interesting. Battle blessing. Interesting. Gun here, wine, potion of health, that's what would be useful. Okay. Out we go. Let's go here. Anybody here? It doesn't oh, hello. I was sent to look for you. Yes, yes, take me to safety. I do I not do the bad things they say. No, I don't. They say they let me go. Go back to tribe. Once tribe, please no hurt. God looks hopeful and then terrified. Just take me to cell or leave me alone. No hurt, God, please. Hmm. What's the record do? Nothing. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. What should I do? See you with one the weapon ready. He lets out the lost his treasure is bad. Avadon, I not to let you kill me. He leaps out of his corner, claws out. He moves surprisingly quickly. The first part of your mission is complete. Once God is dead, you can hunt the other missing prisoner. Okay. He hurts quite a bit. Where's abilities? Usability A. Oh, so I have to use ability, which means I have to press A first, and then I have to press one of these. Okay. Slightly slow. Why do I keep missing? Stop doing that. Stop missing. any keys to doors yet. Ah, okay. I 
As Lee stops walking, you turn to see what is wrong, only to see that she looks thrilled. There is not a touch of doubt or fear in her expression. Why have you stopped? Is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. Nothing at all. I am finally acting. No more lessons. No more the tedium of being a student. I am doing what I was born to do. I understand. Yes, it is as exciting as I thought it would be. Destiny is a foolish word, but no. There will be time for this later. I must concentrate. Let us proceed. She walks forward into the shadows. What shadows? Looks light to me. Doesn't look like it can move across that. Looks like the only way is this way. Hello there. Do Interesting. Okay. With painful glacial slowness, Lexrim nods inside his magical shell. Yes. Keep your thoughts close, and they will not hurt you. You have heard what I say. I return to silence. He closes his eyes. Okay. Interesting. You hear an ominous clanging sound echoing through the stone halls. Okay. Um. Ah. Wretches here. <laughs> what do I keep missing? What's going on? Okay. Awesome. Anything here? Nope. Let's go this way. Hansy. Which I have to fight. Okay, let's go this way then. There are three escaped prisoners standing by the southern passage. They have scavenged leather armor and blades. They look understandably desperate. One of them steps forward. He salutes you with his stolen blade. I am Hansi, and we are warriors of Chimeria. We will not lose this chance to fight your kind. He looks at you over. Though we th Thought more would come for us. That is the spirit of Avadon. It is courage that crushes our people, but we do admire it. Admire it. The two warriors by his side start to look nervous. Hans, he says, be strong. A death fighting the pact is a death with honor. Okay. Okay. Here 
There we go. I see them. I hand. Yes, victory, victory. Then he closes his eyes. Whatever fantasy the spell of Avdon entertained in the last moments of his life, it is over now. Interesting. There is a lot of dialogue in this, but, but still. Uh, part of the story and it is so far so good okay didn't really read that but why should I something in here coins it's very nice lockpick ah this is what we need What time is it? Almost four. I think I'll go quite soon, but uh, so far I am really enjoying this. Have I gone round in the circle? Um, I really don't know. Tank. Okay, is there anything over here? No, no, there's not. So I guess we go here. Down here. Let's go and explore this bit. This is a very good game, in my opinion. I think I will continue with these let's plays and I think I will save it here and return sometime soon. So thank you for watching and goodbye.